Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me today at Juanette's Crafting Corner. In today's video, I want to show you some of the things that I ordered from Stamping Up. Many of you know that I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator, and I ordered stuff both from the annual catalog, which will go till April of next year, then I also ordered from the mini catalog, which will go until December. And then they have celebration going on right now, which means you get a lot of free stuff. So let's go through and let me just show you some of the things that I ordered. I ordered several punches. This is one of the punches and it, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. It will punch some flowers and some leaves. I like the Stamping Up punches because they are very durable and very sturdy. If something happens to go wrong with one, I had one have um, an issue one time and they sent me a brand new one and it was probably about a year after I had had it. Then this is another one that I bought. This is called a decorative circle punch. I love the border dies for adding to edging of journals. This is the evergreen border punch. And then I ordered a couple of different stamps and die selections. This is one of them. It's called Pretty Birds and look at how gorgeous those birds are going to be stamped. And I'm going to show you what I do to organize my dies. I buy these magnetic sheets from Amazon. They come, oh, let me show you the brand. This is the brand here and these were 25 to a pack and they fit perfectly in the stamping up envelopes. Now what comes with the stamping up guys is these very sturdy pockets. And so what I do is when I first get the dies, I pull them off this sheet that has the tape on it and I just lay them on my magnetic sheet and then that way I don't lose any of the dies. So let me just do that real quick. And then what I do is I take the sheet that comes with this, the dies and I just trim it down a little bit. So it'll fit on the back of that magnetic sheet. And then I just take the dies, turn them over, and you can see they stay, they're not falling off. And I just tape this to the back of this magnetic sheet. And I have a video, it was a while back, where I talk about using Evernote to log in all of my dies and stamps so that I always know what I have and I can find what I have. So it just slips right in there, nice and easy. And then what I will do is attach these with a rubber band, put a number on there, and I will be able to find that quite easily. Okay, so that's that. Then I bought 
these dies, these are called designer tag dies, and they've got some really nice tags. These would be perfect for a journal. This one, you could run some ribbon through those slots right there and put it, you know, have it at, even as a belly band. This has got like a little middle. Let me just pull it out real quick so you guys can see. So you could cut out the tag, but then you could also use this die and cut out this little embellishment. It's got some flowers and, and what have you. So this was fun. And then I bought the new envelope. Let me pull that forward. Sorry for having my hand in front of you. So I went ahead and put these on my sheet and I cut them out. So I'm gonna show you real quick. They are the mini pocket envelope dies. And when you cut it out, it gives you a nice little pocket. The fold lines are already scored for you, so it's really easy to turn it over, fold them up, use your bone folder, and then pull that over, fold that in, and so you have a nice little pocket to slip something in. Then also in the dies was, uh, was this. This is this, and it folds over so that you could clip on on a piece of paper or something um, there, and then you'd have that tag. Then it also came with this, and I was looking at it, this die, and I thought, what the heck is that? And then I realized, oh, it's a bow. So you cut it out, you pull it around and fold it. Okay, there you've got your die. And then you take this, and fold it over and once I glued that you could see then you've got your little tail for your bow and then this little piece here is from here you could actually also slide this in here line up the circles and then you could run run some ribbon through that too so that's that die. This is a one piece die. It's really nice. And then you've got, you know, some other little tags and and labels and what have you. So I was glad, can't wait to play with that. I also got the new embossing folder they have 3d embossing folders it is called the cascade ruffles and when i get my embossing folders i always write on the front what is the best sandwich to get a good image and then so this is the embossing folder here and then i embossed it with some Highland Heather cardstock, and then what would be cute is to round those corners off. And then this would be, you know, you could, even if it's too big for your journal, you could cut it in half, you could make a tag out of it, you could make a pocket out of it, a lot of fun things. And I store my embossing folders in these little bags here. And I will just go ahead and slide this in so that I can see what it looks like. And then I slide that in and I also number all of my embossing folders. And again, I enter it in Evernote so I can just type in cascading embossing folder and it will tell me exactly in my craft room where that's at. Here's some little embellishments. They are called glossy dot assortment and these are nice because they are all three different sizes 
and the colors again will match the paper with stamping up so uh, i think this is highland heather let me see what page these are on so that i can real quick maybe tell you what the colors are they're on page 143 right here and it's gorgeous grape melon mambo daffodil delight and pool party so the same thing in evernote i will put those colors and then if i want to find an accessory to go with a certain color of paper it will come up and tell me that i have those and it will tell me exactly where in my craft room they are. It does take a bit of a time to enter all of that stuff, but the nice thing is you don't spend a lot of time searching for things. And then, let's see, I ordered these. These are called spring trinkets. And I usually order all the embellishments from Stamping Up because even if I don't use them right now, I will use them at some point. You can put glue here and adhere them directly onto the page, or you could use it as a charm. So I got that. Then I needed new embossing powders, and they came three to a pack. So this is our clear embossing powder the white embossing powder, and then the black. So I needed new things of those. Then I also ordered what is called a simple chamois. Now this is a tool that is fantastic. Look at how beautiful and pristine it looks right now. But I will show you what they turn out to be. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. You're, you, this is what you do use to clean your stamps. And I keep this in this little stamp case. It's, it's getting old looking and kind of, you know, maybe funky around the edges. So that's why I got a new one. But what I do is I leave this big one here and then two small ones here. When I stamp something, let's say, pretend this is a stamp. I will take my stamp and clean it off that way and just leave it right there in the stamp case. Or if need be, it's a big stamp and it won't fit on there. I pull this up and I just clean my stamps like that. So I thought I'd treat myself and order a new one. I think these are only $7. And this one, uh, this one that I have here, I've had for like probably two years or so. Okay, now let's go on to some other things. Now I ordered this. I've seen, they Stampin' Up! brought this back. I've seen um, Gail... Augustinelli used this several times, and Stampin' Up! had stopped selling it, but they brought it back. This is an embossing tool kit. And the nice thing is, so say for instance, you're embossing something, you sprinkle your powder on top of your thing here, and then when you want to add it back to your bottle, You've got that nice little, you know, funnel there. And then they included a brush so you can brush the powder in. They gave you a pair of tweezers that you can pick something up and also an embossing buddy. Okay, so this was fantastic. I'm glad they brought that back. If Stampin' Up! was really smart, they'd be bringing back what everybody calls the whale tail punch. All right, so that's that. And then I ordered vellum. This is called Lovely Layers Vellum. And I like that there is 
patterns on it. I'm going to be putting these into a separate container, so I'm just going to pull that off. So it looks like you get a bunch of plain ones, and then you get some that are decorated. So some circles, and then these look like a mountain. Maybe you have to put that like that. So that would be pretty. And then these floral, oh, those are pretty too. Those are little dots. And then floral ones. So you could put an image there and then lay this over the top. So lots of vellum, love vellum, love using it. It's nice and lightweight and easy to use. Then let's start on uh, some of the papers. So I always add my papers to better envelopes than what they come in. So this paper is called Textured Chic. It is 12 by 12. And let's just take a look at it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Now, whenever I make a journal, I always use some kind of a cardstock or scrapbook paper for the outside of my signatures, and that gives them a lot of stability and uh, firmness. So let me just flip these over so you can see both sides. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, gorgeous. Now, sometimes this is more of a paper, which again, I like because this would be also pretty in a signature and not be the outside cover. So one is shiny. That would be pretty for a, a Christmas journal. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. You get two sheets of each color of page. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Can't wait to use this. Look at that seashells, so this would be beautiful in an ocean journal. Beautiful paper. I don't know what happened there for a minute, but my, my camera stopped. So I don't know if you guys want me to tell you what colors these are. I think I'm gonna hold, up, hold off, otherwise this video will be too long. Okay, oh, and then this is the other thing that I ordered. These match that paper. These are called Memories and More Cards, and I love having them when I do a journal. And let me just bring you back closer. Okay, these are good for journaling cards. Now, they always give you some stickers. and they're very high quality. And then they give you pretty good size journaling cards and you can, you know, make this into a tag or a journaling card and people can journal right there. And they match the paper. So I like having these. So on one side is something written, some kind of sentiment, and then the other side is blank. See the good in all things. Isn't that the truth? Oh, isn't that pretty? And see, they match that paper perfectly. So if I were to do a journal with that paper, then I would have these to go in it. And then they also give you some smaller ones too.
And I'm just gonna kind of go through them really quickly. Good times with you. Thankful for this wonderfully ordinary day. Everything beautiful starts with love. These are fun. So go over to Stampin' Up! at my site, 24-7 online site, and get some of this paper and these card packs. Let's see. Then this paper is called Hues of Happiness. Let's just take a look at it. This is very, very bright colors. Twelve by twelve papers. They always have a, a pretty pretty bright side and then a more subdued side. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. See, I prefer this over this. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. You could fussy cut some of these flowers out, put them in your journal, that's pretty also. Lots and lots of colors. I have also coffee stained some of the stamping up paper just to make it look aged and it comes out quite well. I really stocked up this time. This is called a wash in beauty. Now you could cut this down the middle and use both sides in a journal. That's pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. I like those little flowers there. Nice deep green there. I think that's more the mossy meadow. I don't know what the other one was. I'd have to look it up. Pretty papers, very pretty papers. Okay. I said that's called a wash in beauty. This is called Abigail Rose. grays there. Now you could color these with colored pencils or Copic markers. Oh, I love that brown color. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous too. This reminds me of some of that Italian paper that I used recently in my Ireland journal. You see that? That is absolutely fantastic for a journal. Love that. Boy, I wish they had like tons of those pages. I'd be buying them like crazy. I love this. This is, this is fantastic paper. Look at that. 
There's some script in the background of those flowers. Fun paper is deceiving on the front. Looks very plain on the front, but it actually is quite pretty. Uh, this is called Pretty Prints. Look at how that is. Oh, there's one like that, and then this one's. Oh, I wonder if there's only one per one. Oh, yeah, I think there's only one per each, you know, one design of each one. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Ooh. And like I said, stamping up inks match with their papers, match with their embellishments. That's why I'm still a stamping up demonstrator. That is gorgeous. And if I pulled out some of my paper that is retired that I still have, it would coordinate with this. I think this is some of the new colors because I don't have this yet. It's not real familiar to me. Wouldn't that be pretty in a journal as a page? And you just cut it down there. Oh, gorgeous. Nice. Good job stamping up. See, and that's deceiving because uh, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. I think I like those darker colors better. Okie dokie. Now, some of the things that I got, I think these are all from the mini catalog that will retire in December. Okay, so if you want any of these things, you gotta order them now before December. But this is a pack of paper, it's called Splendid Day. Sorry for the brightness. So again, one side is very, very shiny and bright and metallic, and the other one is more, the other side is more subdued. Oh, look at that. You see that shine? Oh, that's pretty. I think that's crumb cake there. I know I keep saying they're all pretty, but they are, you know. Wouldn't this be fantastic in a bee journal? Look at those bees. I'm gonna have to set this aside because I want to work on a bee journal. That's like a rose gold. Beautiful. So if you want any of that, make sure you order before December, the end of December. And the other thing that was in the catalog was, in that mini catalog were these pearlescent effects. And these are kind of Christmas colors, I think. But these are almost like the Nouveau Drops. So there's a white color, real red, and black. So those would be fun. And then I ordered these trinkets here, these open leaf trinkets. Again, I like the charms, they're substantial. These would be nice on a journal. 
just as a dangle. And then one last punch I ordered, and I wanted to show you how I kind of keep track of my punches too. So when I get a punch, I always cut, because I like to know what name I ha have, or, you know, again, with Evernote, I can pull it up on my computer and it will tell me exactly if I own it, where it's located. All my punches are in the same spot, but some of the stamp stamps and dies are in different spots in my craft room. So what I do is lose it. <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh. Where'd that go, guys? I know you know where it went, because when I turned, it went flying somewhere. I'm gonna put the camera on hold and see if I can find that. I cut it out, now it's disappeared. I found it. And so what I do is I just take that piece that I cut and I tape it down so I know this is called the handmade tag punch. Now, because of celebration right now, this is to the end of August. For every $50 you spend, you get something free. And then if you spend $100, you get something else free. So I'm gonna show you just real quick some of the things that I got that was free. So that is, let's see, let me find it so I can see what I spent to get that. And I like to do a big order during celebration because I feel like you get your money's worth with that because you get so much free stuff. Okay, this was free with a $50 order. Six by six paper. I don't know how many sheets it is, but it's gold. White on the back. Some dots. And then it's also silver, both the lines and the dots. So that was free. And then I also got a stamp set and a couple of packs of paper. I actually, these are, this was free with a $100 order. I actually got two of these. I gave one of these to Gail Augustinelli but it was hard to pack the paper, so I kept one of the packs of the paper. So let me just show you what that is. It, you can kind of see it right here. If I pull it down, you can see it. But let me just do a quick flip through. But that's the stamp set, some beautiful flowers. And here's the paper. Oh, these would be easy to fussy cut. Wow, those are pretty. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Oh, I'm glad I kept both of them. Sorry, Gail. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? Oh, and then, because I had placed such a big order, I also got this paper. I believe then this would have had to be a, yeah, $50 order. Let's just look at that real quick. What's the name? Rings of Love. I think I prefer that. Oh, that's very fall looking. There's two sheets. I'm just gonna flip them at the same time. Oh, look at those pretty birds. They look like they're water colored. Ooh, look at this blue paper back here. Oh, 
this and just flip it. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Little cottages. See, I don't really like that one, but I like that. That's pretty. So, anyway, that's my stamping up haul. Huge. I re replenished my, my stock. And again, if you want something from either catalog, just go to www.stampingup.com. And it is, it is going to be in the description box. But then when you, there's a place to say where you want to find your demonstrator. And your demonstrator does not have to be in the same state or city that you live in. It really should just be your country, though, because you don't want to have to pay international shipping. But just put my name, Juanette Hewitt or Gilbert, Arizona, and my site will come up and you can order through me and I will get credit for that. It doesn't cost you extra, but it does help me out. So anyway, I appreciate you joining me for this little Stampin' Up! haul, and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks, and bye-bye.